This video is about a simple hit and trial method which is used to solve cubic equations like this one. Now in hit and trial method, people often put random values in x. But I will teach you a simple method with which you can guess the values which can solve this equation. So take a look at this term, this one. Now see what things divide this like minus 1, minus 2, minus 4, 1, 2 and 4. Now these are the things which you have to put in the equation. Now our thing became easy. Now let us put 1 in this equation. So if we put 1 in this equation, here we get 1 minus 5 plus 8 minus 4 and minus 5 minus 4 is minus 9 and 8 plus 1 is 9 so it is 0. So we got a root of this equation which is 1. So x is equal to 1 or we can write it as x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we have to find its other root. Now you don't have to put other values in this equation. For example, if you put minus 1 and didn't get the root, put minus 2 and didn't get the root, put 1 and get the root, then you have to stop the hit and trial method from here. And now you will follow this one, this step, which is this one. Now you have to divide this equation by x minus 1. So now we will divide this equation by x minus 1. So I will write x minus 1 in here and I will write the equation in here which is x cube minus 5x square plus 8x minus 4. Now we will divide it. So first dividing by x square we get x cube minus x square. Okay. So we get this becomes minus, this becomes plus, this cancels out and this is minus 4x square plus 8x minus 4. Now let us do further math which is we will multiply it by minus 4x. Let us see what happens. Multiplying by minus 4x we get minus 4x square plus 4x and there is 0, I won't write it, this becomes plus, there's minus, this cancels out and this is 4x minus 4 and if I write 4, multiply it by 4, we get 4x minus 4 which is, the answer is like 0. So now we can write this whole thing again which is like this, which is x minus 1 multiply by x square minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0 because the remainder was 0. So we converted this equation in this form using a hit and trial method and dividing that equation with our root we found by a hit and trial method. Now we can solve this one easily. Now you can either use factorization for solving this but we can easily see that this is for example this is a square plus b square minus 2ab which is a minus b and here b is 2 so a x minus 2 whole square is equal to 0. So the roots are x is equal to 1 and 2. So these are all the roots of this equation we found by using hit and trial method. Now take a look here was 1 and here was 2 already in the root but these are all the roots you can also write another 2 here is a whole square as it's if you are finding eigenvalues then this here will be another 2 now uh, this is the easy way which which you can solve cubic equations now i will give you a simple cubic equation to solve which is this one take a look at this equation which is x cube plus x square minus 21x minus 45 is equal to 0. Take a look at this equation and use the same method which I did in this equation solving technique uh, and comment down below what will be the roots of this equation. 
tell me the roots of this equation and uh, comment which will answer the roots of its equation first and the right roots will be pinned. So tell me the roots of this equation first in the comments down below. And if any other person have already given the answer, you can check your answer by going down the comments below. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.